I'm being honored with an award, the Women's Icon Award, and it is on the 16th of this month, and it is the iconic womanhood that have put all of this together, love, wealth, and womanhood. It's going to be at the Hyatt Regency London from 10.30 to 3.30. So I am going to be there. Fumi Nation, come and celebrate with me. I live and I love. I'm Ekene Anu and I'm the founder of Iconic Womanhood and for me, I just wanted to take a moment to send you a personal video. I'm literally sitting at my dining table and I thought, you know what, I'm going to just tell her how much I admire the work that you've done. I am inspired by you and not just me, so many of the women in my community. We live and love with you all the way from Atlanta. We are watching, we are just marveling at how you have built this unstoppable brand right before our very eyes. Your authenticity, your transparency and your fabulosity are this incredible, impeccable mix, unique only to you, which is the whole business of being iconic, because you have leaned into yourself and you are fully expressed and it is a marvel to see. I wanted to take a moment and celebrate you at our very first experience in London and have done these all over the world. I have had the opportunity to meet so many incredible women and impact so many other women with the partnership of women like yourself, stand with you and, and you know, walk with you and all of that wonderful energy that you bring. I want to live and I want to love. God bless you and thank you for the work that you do. God bless you, Icon. Are we having a meet and greet? We're having a meet and greet. <laughs> yes, we're having a meet and greet again in London. And we're having a meet and greet in New York. Yes, I will get all of the dates for you, but I had to say it. I, 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 Hello, my darling Fumi Nation. <laughs> How are you, my darlings? So today, I'm going to show you a kind of eye look that I enjoy. So we're going to have a little itty bitty makeup tutorial. I find that a lot of us, including myself, we can get the brows, we can get the lip, we can do the face, but we're kind of, you know, it can be a little bit tricky with the eye. So I said to myself, so I said to myself, let me do a fun, lovely, simplish eye tutorial for you. I live and I love two palettes right now. I'm just on the neutral tip. Color Dream. Love it, love it, love it. I don't even have to look at it. Rebellious Nudes. The best. One of the best palettes that you will use forever and ever and ever and ever for the simple reason that you can really have so many different neutrals with this. It's a fabulous, fabulous palette. And of course, and always, we also have Juvia's Place. And this, my darling, is called Sweet Coffee Shop. Again, some of the most beautiful colors that you will come across ever. And you will use them a lot of the time different variations i love this i think it's absolutely fabulous let me bring it to the side so that you can see yummy um i have discount codes for the two of them um discount code for me my discount code is always for me whatever the brand i think it's just <laughs> it's easier for me to remember you know and the discount codes never expire these are brands that are catered to women of color I'm dark. Not only am I a woman of color, I am dark. And I remember for as long as I have ever, you know, worn makeup, it has always been difficult to find my shades. And so that is why I love these palettes. So what am I going to do first? I am going to warm up the eye. I use a fan brush and that fan brush no longer exists. I got it from Morphe. Where am I? Because I got all kinds of stuff here, yeah. So what I do is that I clean up my brow with lighter foundation and then I just kind of drag it onto the lid. And then I use a setting powder and I just set it. 
I can actually use a little bit now just to show you and I just set the eye okay I have hooded eyes so I have a little bit of skin that folds over and so I always make sure that I have a nice warm warm transition shade and what I do is that I just swirl a little bit and I go right into the middle of that eye okay do 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 and I want to really shade the crease that's what I want I'm using a big fluffy brush first okay and you can even use that brush and taper it down your nose and give it a little bit of a contour it just brings the face together so that there are no loose ends <laughs> so to speak some of you might be saying for me we love the lip and this is Fenty and the lips are strawberry sangria and berry banger so what I did was real quick I just put the darker one underneath mm. And clean it up there and then I put the strawberry sangria in the middle for those of you that are asking okay so that's that we're gonna go with a smaller brush because if you could if you go with the same brush you're just going to pile one shade on top of the other you're not going to see that fade effect that gradient effect so that was why I started with this one okay so we're gonna put this brush here and I'm going to take another brush of loops there you go this is bigger this is smaller and I'm going to go in with a deeper shade so we're going to go in with yet a deeper shade and I'm going to go right into the crease see right into the crease so that you begin to have that effect and the trick here for those of you that say, I don't have that much lid space. You do. You just don't know it. You're not used to it. You have a lot of lid space on top. So use that lid space on top. Okay. See, you see a little bit darker than the one that we did before. And then just take it out. Don't bring it down because when you do that, you bring your eye down. You want it to go up. So you put it up this way. Yeah. Juvia's place, the coffee shop yeah okay and then we are going to go ahead with this shade it's a very muted shade this one okay and we're just going to tap onto the lid ever so lightly yeah hi honey it's good yes it's good what are you doing oh. yeah mama makeup Mm -hmm. You want to say hello? No, no, no. No, you don't want to say hello today. No, no, no. Hoover, <laughs> okay? <laughs> okay, Mama. So shut this door and shut second door. Hoover where? Here? Uh, yes. No, no, no. Go when off. I finish, Mama, okay. finish. Thank you, my love. Thank you. That's um, Maria. She is absolutely, absolutely fantastic. I live and love her. I really, really do. She's uh, from Brazil and um, it was my nanny that was leaving that said, Fumi, I'm going to bring another nanny for you. Because once Adrian started school, the issue here was that they have a lot of days off, sometimes when he's not feeling well, holidays and stuff like that. If he comes home, I have to take care of him, of which I love and don't mind. But sometimes I'm working. So we ended up having to make that choice of having a full-time nanny. So when Adrian, in, when Adrian is in school, she's here during the down hours, but she helps me do all kinds of stuff, runs errands and everything. She's a really, really sweet person. I'm really grateful, really grateful to her. So this is what you have, yeah? And then you can clean up. Just clean up on the sides. Now you're going to go in, I love this, this is Mama Mama Mitchell. You're going to go in with a darker shade still. Coffee Shop has a particular shade of which I am absolutely obsessed with. It's this one here. It's a chocolate brown and it's not as cool as this one. And this, my darling, oh, it's everything. So you use a very skinny brush of which Mama Mama Mitchell has done. 
He's really doing very well. I'm so proud of everything he's achieved so far. And what you do is that you graze this on top of the pale shadow, but in the crease, right there, very lightly. And that kind of seals the deal. Do you see? It just seals it and keeps it copacetic. You can see this one is a bit, it's not kind of finished and this is. And then what you can do, you can mix two shades. This is very light, but you can mix the two because we're going to put a little bit wear onto the brow bone. Okay. And so just let me even take a smaller mirror. Where did I see that? Yeah. Mm. Ah, good news. I'm going to make mirrors for you guys. I was just telling Ula. Since we'll be doing these little makeup tutorials, I'm back with it and I will have... I'm thinking of having hand mirrors. I'm thinking of having little pocket mirrors like this as well. And then standalone mirrors sitting on the vanity while your hands are free. Because I think you guys love that. And so I just pat with the fan brush and pat and then I kind of drag it right down there. And it just kind of brings the eye look together and just drag it and there you have it my darlings and you were asking me the last time what was the pencil this is by makeup revolution it is absolutely fabulous and it's that kind of look at it angled brush uh, uh, sorry angled angled lead so i'm going to bring it down a little bit more and just going to sweep it and clean it up a bit so I'm gonna put a little bit of liner a little bit of a lash and I will be what I'll be right back okay and that is it and there you have it my darlings what do you think? Do we live? Uh, do we love? <laughs> All right. So I'm going to use the Paw Professional. Okay. And I just, just so lightly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that's it, my darlings. Do we live? Do we love? I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Do not forget to get these two palettes. And then maybe in the next tutorial, we'll do some color. Drop it down in the comment section what you would love me to do. And you will always have this kind of lovely intimate makeup tutorials. And yes, the mirrors are coming. Absolutely and guaranteed. Mwah. All of my love, my darlings. Have a fabulous day. Love you. <laughs> Those feelings all In a millisecond Then it all came back When I thought that everything was lost On a cold November night When I met my missus right Made my feelings come to life again When I thought I didn't care I just saw what's standing near Made my feelings come to life again up every morning next to her. I gotta pinch myself to prove that she's my girl. My girl. There's no place I'd rather be here in this world. Cause I have no doubt, and I know she is the one. I guess it really was giving up on love. And I tried to block those feelings off. In a millisecond, and it all came back. I thought that everything